Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and more. And yes, we are going to talk about those old eyes and making them see again. So in front of you here, you see a pair of eyes. One of them I have scored out the, I, I cut out this, the iris part, this part here, out of the eyes. Let's lift them up a little bit so you can see them. Get them underneath the light here. There we go. All right, so these are, this is an old pair of eyes I've had sitting around and I'm just doing an example here. So I'm going to hand the camera over to John and then he's going to just follow along with me here. So here's the camera, John. Hello, folks. This is John. All right, so here are my eyes that are sitting here and um, a lot has happened over the last few days here while I was learning about what to do with these eyes, how to work with them. Somebody wanted me to show how I put the eyelashes in, which I'm going to do today. Now this is another iris that I found. Um, this is actually too big, but this one here, I thought of another another doll that I had taken apart. And anyways, you know, that would, if, if this was small enough, it would just fit right into that right there. So let's talk about the eyes, the irises first, before we go into what I've been doing. So put this down, we'll come over here. When it comes to doll part supplies eyes, no, do not buy them. The iris is beautiful. You can see I kind of chopped this up, but I can fix that later. There's the, the eye. Now, when you pull the eye apart, why is it blue? You can see that it looks kind of clear now all of a sudden. It's because the iris has a blue shield back here, or whatever you want to call this, that reflects blue. So these irises are actually clear. They're all clear. So if they want them brown, they put brown in here. If they want them green, they put a green little scoopy doopy thing there and genius. It, yes and then it reflects the blue so these are all clear eyes I put my finger right in there and you can't get them out they're part of the, the eye itself though I can feel a bit of a rim no there is no rim I did that's from where I cut was trying to get into them so this doesn't work so don't be putting your money out on them they will have to just be eyes that you use for a doll that you want to replace all right so I learned that lesson so I had another set of eyes that came out of another doll and this is the kind that you want, where they've glued them in. And this is where this one came out of. It sits right in there. This came from a bigger doll. And so you take an, your knife, and I just took it and just went in and just pulled it out, and it pops out. They're gl not glued in the best. So these come right out. So now you have an iris for your, uh, a, if you have an eye that can fit. Now, this one's too big for this one here. It needs a little bit smaller. But anyways, that's the idea that you're looking for, to find dolls that will fit. Um, that have this type of eye. So these are cheap little china eyes. They come out of little china dolls. There you go. So that's what you want. So let's see what I've been doing here. Okay, so first we're going to take a look at what I've been doing. I'll just show you my eyes. Here's my eyes so far. Um, somebody wanted to see how I put the eyelashes on. Well, first what I'm going to tell you is I painted the tops. I did decide to paint them, which I'm glad I did now because they match the color of the doll. I also painted the white of the eye down below. Then I put in these eyelashes come from Doll Parts Supply. I got the other one sitting right here, okay? They come on this little scoop. They got a little bit of glue with them. Now this is the one that's going to go on here, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. And what I did was I first took out, do not put the iris in first. That's what I did. I didn't put the iris in first. I uh, kept the iris out. I can't even get it out right now. I'll just take my, a knife, go in there. Let's pull that out. There we go. There's my iris. It's not glued in yet because I wanted to show you how I do it. Now, if this gets too rusted and a hole goes through, or you lose your your base altogether, you can put a little bit of Millie Putt in there and build up a base. Let it harden, and then put your eye in. You're going to have to be very, you know, it's got to be like in a scoop so that it can fit down inside. But that's what I thought I would do if this ever fell apart, because a lot of these are very rusted. But anyhow, what I did was, I put some glue up here, put the eyelashes in, and then I glued the eye in. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to have John just follow me along here. So, um, I only have one pair of these, so I have to be very careful with them. So what I do first is, I take my E6000 glue, and my glue is in a real mess right now. I need some new glue. So I took, took some of this glue out. Okay, there's some nice fresh glue down in there. Your glue is always good, you know, in there. So what I want to do is, now that I paint it, I just take some glue. I went in here like this. Just a, you don't need a lot either. And muck with your fingers in it, you know, a bit. It will come off the top. Don't worry about that part. Try to get it in where you, where you can. Down into those folds. 
Okay, there we go. I wonder if I should be on the other side of you. Do you want to be on the other side of me? Yeah. Hey, we're going to do a flip around me, everybody. Can you stand okay? I'll, I'll make it. Uh. All right, John has a bad back, so his he's not doing too good today. It's raining and everything, so usually with the weather, John's back goes with the weather. Anything for you, my love. That's right. The pain is worth it. <laughs> no. But anyways, okay. So now that I've got that done, now what I'm going to do is, is take my eyelashes off. Got to be careful. They do have a titch of glue that came with them, but that glue is not enough to stick your lashes onto, like, and to keep them there. Oh, gee. To keep them there forever. You, you just, that's just not enough. Okay, so what you want to do is, is put these eyelashes in the upward position so that they are like this. And this is what I did. Just with my finger, I pretty much laid them in there. The glue will grab them, and that's what you want. You want the glue to grab the eyelashes. Got to play around with them. And I know you're going to want to know, how did I get out the old lashes? How did I do it? Like, there was there was um, other lashes in here. Now, these could be too long, and I might have to take it and snip just a bit. See what happens here. So, I did have to cut this one here. And I think I'm going to have to, just some, maybe not. I've got a miniature pair of side cutters. Do you want me to go No, there? no, no. i got scissors sitting right here. They don't, I don't need side cutters for this. This is like a cloth. Very tender. Oh, shoot. This is not working. And of course, not on camera it won't. The other ones went so good. Oh, yeah. If the camera wasn't on, it'd work perfectly. Yeah. So I think what it is, they're just a little bit too long. So what you're going to do is just snip a bit off the, the end. Oh, there's our son's alarm clock now. Let's try this again now. Now we're not trying to pick corner to corner so so badly. Oh. See, this is tedious work. So you really want to... And E6000 glue isn't going to glue instantly either. There we go, getting there. Maybe you need to put a little bit of glue on the end of a toothpick. I think they're still too long. They need more clipping off. Remember, you can't get back what you clip off, so got to be careful with that. Don't be just clipping just to clip. I know I took some off the other one, too, and I clipped along the way. There we go. Do you need uh, to take it and bend it circular? No, it's okay, John. Now 
There we go. Just too long, that's what it is. There we go, starting to take place. Oh, I had it. I ruined it. Had it in there. Okay, this is not working for me right now. But anyways, you kind of get the idea what you got to do. I think I just need more glue in there. So let's put some more glue. Oh, this is the tedious part. This is where you can start, uh, mm-hmm. No cursing and swearing on YouTube. I know. Darn it. <laughs> okay, this is what, I really glooped it the last time too. I remember doing that, glooping it. Because you want it to grab. You have to have it grabbing. Your glue has to grab it so that you can play it. See, that's how it, I did it the last time. I made sure that it was going to grab it. The, the glue was going to grab. We're getting somewhere now. And this glue um, does dry clear. You're, you, if you've worked with E6000, you'll know that, that it does um, dry nice and clear. Now, these lashes are very long. You can clip them after they're dried. Um, I haven't done them yet, as of yet. Right now, I'm, it's just a matter of getting both in, and then we'll deal with the issue afterwards. Okay, they're now in, in place. Man, I'm glad I stuck with it. So it was just more glue I needed to help grab them and keep them in place. Okay, there we go. They're in place. Now what I want to do is take my iris. Where is it? Right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it now. And put some glue on the back of it. And we're going to put it... Uh, into its new little home. You gotta be careful because your eyelashes are in there too right now. Come on. Let me get the glue off my hands. There we go. That has to slide in there. This one was a little harder, this uh, this um, iris, to get in and out of here, too. I don't know why it doesn't want to go in now. It's got eyelashes there now. Is that why? Hmm? 
Why is it that won't go in? There we go. Went in. Well, it kind of did. Why won't it go in to its new home? I don't want to ruin those eyelashes. What is going on here? Today, this is the, the real problem. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Felt it go in. Oh, there. Yeah, I heard it snapping. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and the lash is trying to come out again on this side. There we go. Get that in there. It's got to stay in. Now, oh, yeah, that's got to stay in there. Okay, now there we go. Don't touch them. Don't do anything to them. It'll all play out in the end. Okay, It'll, you can play around with them afterwards. I did with these. And now let's talk about now. They're, they're, they're done. Okay, I'll bend that forward in a little bit. Not yet. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is show you how did I get these eyelashes out. So what you want to do is now... I took my, because of the way these eyes were made, I did not want to be taking this all apart in the back. I did try to and I was bending everything and I was afraid the eyes were going to start to crack. They're made by machinery. I'm not going to deal with that. So what I did was, um, these are the same idea. So what I did was to get the, um, I, what I did was I took the pupil out of this one here. So to take the pupil out, because they're cracked, you can see where they're cracked here. And look at, see how easy that is just to come out? And I just started pulling it out with my knife. And the pieces just came out. And I just kept chopping away at it until I came around and got this all out. Or close to. I, I, there's still more in here I could dig out yet. But right now what I want to show you is now, once you get that part out and you're at this part, now you got your eyelashes. Well, because I, the eyelashes are from the inside, you could get them out. I just went around and I scored across like this. Your knife is sharp enough. You can go in and start removing eyelashes just like this. And also have a pair of tweezers on hand so that you can also pull some out as you go along. And this way you don't have to pull your eye apart. I have some that I can pull apart, some that I cannot. So I just kept going in here with my knife and cutting them out. And I just kept it up till they were totally gone and I had a nice little rim these knives are sharp and you can see that the hair is almost gone already but that's not good enough you have to get down into this rim in here because that's where they're joined inside but the glue is old okay remember that and then you can always paint afterwards the whites and the color of the flesh tone on the eye again later see how I'm getting a nice little rim up in here see that there that rim that's where they're they're attached up inside in there and that's what I did and I just kept pulling out pulling out getting that rim and it's in these corners too which is your hard part you got to get into there you got to get into that little okay that's what I did and I just kept it going till I got the whole all that hair, all the eyelash hair out and you get this nice little rim built in here. And that's where you're going to put your next set of eyelashes. And you don't want them with um, your eyelashes with a, a big rim like this. Like these have like a tape going across and that nice little rim. Um, let me see, where's my eyelashes? Here, here's a rim. Uh, here's a whole thing of my eyelashes. These are not the kind you want because they have this rim, this big rim here. And that will stick out. See that rim right in here? That's where you're supposed to be able to slide it in and glue it. Well, you might be able to get it in there. You might not. I like these because they didn't have that this, this, this great big thick rim on there. So I'm sticking with those kind of eyelashes. See, there's still hair in there. So sometimes your tweezers will just help pull some of that out too. Yeah. So some will come out. Some of it, you just have to keep cutting it out. 
So you get the idea there. And once you get all that hair out and you're happy with what you've got out, it's looking good. Yeah, there's more hair coming now. This is all steel in here. That's just rusted. Thin, thin. But now you've got that rim going around here with the hair. You can still see there's some in there, okay? But you get, keep picking away at it until you get it all out. I had a, another knife here that was I used as well. And I just go in there. A lot of this would just um, come right out. And then afterwards, you can paint this again and paint this. I just took my... Uh, my nice little paint that I had. Now you can see the difference between this eyelash and these eyelashes. You still see there's some hair there. And I still got to keep, you got to keep digging till that hair is all gone. You got that rim right gone. Sometimes going at it this way will help cut some of that hair out. And I can see it coming out now. So you want to go in there and get as much of that hair out of that rim. And I got all, well that's what I did with this one over here the one I just showed you the good one I just kept it up until I got all that hair out of there and it took me about a good couple hours just to play around you know just till I got it out until I got what I want the satisfaction I was looking for with the hair gone the eyelashes gone once you get all that out of there you know it looks pretty good starting to look better all the time here for the, the lack of hair in there I can still see some up in this little corner in here which is your hard corner to get into if you can get your knife in there and just keep scoring in there. I don't know why I want to use that word score, but that's what it is. Keep cutting in there till you get all that out. I can feel it now. And you see hair on the, um, the knife itself. Now, if you can take your eyes apart, that's the great part of it. I do have some that I can do. This one here, I don't understand how to take them apart. And that's okay, because I found a way around it. You want to get up in there just as well. There we go. I can still see like little bits of hair now, but not as bad as it was. So that's the idea that you're looking for. You just keep up with your knife. Like you can still see little bits of hair, but not like it was. And I just keep going at that. Like just what you're seeing me do. Keep going, keep going. Remember, they look like this. This is what they were. Now I've got it right down, but I just keep on them. I don't, I don't stop until I get all that, that, all that out of there. And that's why I say I can't do a two hours on here of just cutting and cutting and cutting. You just can't. My okay. Back. Okay. So, anyways, there's the idea of what I'm doing. Then you can start with um, putting your your eyelash on or paint first. Paint the whites, paint the tops, and then um, put your eyelashes on, and then your um, your iris goes in. So that's just to show you how it works. You can go from this to this. Okay. Don't touch these right now. I'll position these in a little bit here. Here's and it. no pun intended but we will see you, you back. later yes i can still see where these are not oh no they're in okay i'm not gonna oh no i can see it's, it's poking out so i have to put a little bit more glue on this one right down in this corner it does not want to stay in there we can so, fine tune it that's right so anyways keep an eye on that if, if a part is picking is sticking out you know but um it needs to sit down in there so just a little bit of glue and the way you go all right then i'll let you be Thank you for um, tuning in on this. and um, Thank you for joining us. Have a good day.